even in certain issues, if we see him do it, it is not for us to declare him a disbeliever. Well, he got some, he got some juju, or he got some amulets, he got some talisman, he got some, what you call those? Some, some talisman. Are we going to declare him he's a disbeliever? Because he has some talisman? Huh? Why not? Huh? Very good point. It depends on what he believes in regard to those. Right? But somebody detail that for me, please. Muhammad. Adam. Right. If he believed that Allah will aid him by way of those talisman, that's, that's sin. If you believe that this really the juju will be getting him to the seat, glue him on the seat, now nah, this is kufr. That's a difference too though, right? That's very different. That's very different. So how about if you don't know? How about if you don't know? Allah, if you don't know, you don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. You're going to make a ruling on what you don't know? Huh? You don't know, you don't know. You can't, you can't rule him out from the religion just because he has a talisman. The Shahafidahullah wa ra'ah, he mentioned, he said, even if, he said, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not say, if they established the salah, they fast the month of Ramadan, they give the zakat, they go to hajj. He didn't say all of this, but only thing he say, no, as long as they pray. Limada, why? He say, لِأَنَّ الْخُرُوجِ يَتَرَتَّبْ عَلَيْهِ مَفَاسِدْ Because going against the ruler, he entitles a great amount of corruption. Going against the ruler, Entitles a great amount of corruption. Diya al Islam. And it is also barakallah fikum. Yani lowering the religion in, in some in some aspect. Meaning taking it whereas barakallah fikum that the people will not be able to benefit from their religion. If if there is Going against the ruler all the time. Okay, look at in Somalia. For how many long, how long they didn't have no government? How long? For 20 years, maybe no government. What was the cause of that? They didn't like the man Siad Bari. For whatever, whatever reason. For the tribalism in there. For all of these things. Oh, he's this, he's the agent of the U.S. He's the this, he's the informant. He's a CIA agent. All of this. And they went against him. Now the woman could not, don't have no hospital to go if they are pregnant. Now the children don't have no madrasa to go. And it was common that Barakallah Fikum, the children in Somali will memorize the Quran easily. Easily. But no safety, no buying and selling. Now for people to have aid, aid. Right? You got to have guns. To Barakallah escort the aid. So nobody will come and rob the, the aid that is coming from somewhere else. Now how about the du'afa, the weak ones? How about those who Barakallah, if they are weak, they ain't got nothing. What would they eat? Now it start being gangs. And the shabab, without a doubt, this is a cover up. They use the religion as a cover up for all this smuggling and this drug dealing and the likes of these things. All of these things. So he mentioned Hafidahullah wa Ra'a. Wa diya'un lil muslimin. And also, it is a humiliation of the Muslims. Without a doubt. It is indeed a humiliation of the, for, for the Muslims. He say, wa ihlak al ummah. And it is the, the destruction of the ummah. Who is losing in it except the Muslims in it? And what is sad is. You don't see, 
you don't see the Westerners use, utilizing these methods. They don't do it, but they are perpetrating the Muslims to be doing it. And those who are Khalafi, like, like what you call it, the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring. Now people all, they, they, they were started with what? Blog on the computer. Facebook. Until Barakallah Fikum, these things happen. But it is not happening in their lands. When did you hear a coup in Europe or in this or in that? When have you heard that? Have you? When have you heard a coup in, 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 in the recent modern Europe? Have you? Anybody heard a coup in Europe or in America or in this or in the third? But every single day you hear a coup being perpetrated or being, uh, being cooked in the Muslim land. Why is it that? This is only Barakallah Fikum. It is, it is a humiliation for the Muslims. Now we're going to leave the Muslim land to go where? To go to the disbelievers land. Look what happened Barakallah. How many Muslims left and fled, run away from Syria. How many? How many? And do you think like the Europeans, they open their doors because they love you? The first thing that they will do, give you the Bible. Show you, listen. When you were in trouble, nobody came to your aid and assistance. You don't see, no Muslim came to you, aided you or gave you assistance. The only one you see is us. Now you think what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Akhi, he would love them. The shaitan will trigger them. When the, between the Sudan, the northern part and the, the southern part of Sudan, right? When there was an issue. And some of those, barakallah fikum, that were from the Muslims that fled and run to, to uh, what you call it, to Egypt. Now the Christians, they formed some type of, any, uh, what you call those, Huh? Like a shelter. shelter, shelter. They form some type of shelter organization where you know what I'm saying. Let the Muslims come. Okay, that's happening here in Atlanta, in in in, in, in what you call is Torrent Clarkston, where they and Jazakallah Khair and may Allah increase our brother for those efforts that they were doing to counter them because these missionaries will come where they will come to these kids. Start giving them candy, giving them chips, bag of chips, candy. Ahi, who don't like no candy, no chocolate? Give you a candy, a bag of chips, some chocolate, but next thing you know, Isa is your Lord. You didn't find no Muslim helping you. Where are the Muslims? Where are the people in Saudi? Where are the people in this land? Did they do anything for you? With a big old cross. So all you're seeing is the cross in the man's chest. That's a real dawah right there. Now what is that humiliation? Because we have left the principle of this religion. We have left the principle of the religion. So when those individuals, they were, you know, kind of getting these Muslims to be in their camps. Now in the morning... Before you eat breakfast, you have to do what you have to. They have to put them in classes, quote unquote. Same thing that is going on here in America. For those immigrants that came and can't speak English or can't write it, some of the church, they organize some type of classes to teach you English. But guess what though? By the time you graduate your English program, you graduate in your aqidah too. Now we don't be thinking about these things, but this is reality. This is real, but it started somewhere. And there is objective. The plan is taking its course. Whatever they set up is taking its course until it will come to what? Their final purpose, their final goal, which is what? To eradicate Islam from the globe. But alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that defends his religion. So 
So now, when they will, before they would breakfast, they would give them some type of, you know, lecture. You know, teaching them a little bit of, you know, not right away Christianity. But they would give them a little bit so they will, barakallah fikum, put, you know, a little bit at a time in their hearts. So they start giving them Bibles. Giving them Bibles. Giving them Bibles. But they realize that, alhamdulillah, not alhamdulillah, but some of the Bibles, they are written in Arabic. Arabic Bible, written in Arabic. No, 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 yeah, written in Arabic, yeah, written in Arabic. You know, just like you have it, the Bible written in English, you have the Bible written in French, in Arabic you have it. You have written the Bible in Arabic. So they will give them in Surah, they speak Arabic, so they will give them the Bible. So, that they realize, these individuals, that at night... They will be reading the Quran. But in the morning when they come, listen, they will be reading. The, they ask them, listen, we've been trying on this individual like this so much, so much, that it's not taken. We ask them, what's the problem? They say, listen, if we got to eat, we got to study this. We don't have none to eat. We gotta, but we don't believe in what you're saying. We believe in Allah. We believe in the deen of Islam. If this is what you, we don't have nothing else to do. This is the only option that we have to eat. So we're using it to eat, but we don't believe in it. It's almost as they are forcing them to take that. They've been coerced to be doing that. Even though we are saying that to agree with that. But barakallah to show you that these people, they are still in those things. Trying to take the Muslims out of the religion. Shaykh Rabbi ibn Hadi al-Madkhali, he mentioned, al-Ummah, and this is from the, it is a destruction of the Ummah. And likewise, it is wa ihlaku al harf and likewise wa nasl and it is barakallahu fikum the destruction of the cattle and the dash destruction of the of the of the crops if there is rebellion akhi you will lose your property if there is a chaos in the in town you will not have your house will not be your house no more So if there is a chaos, there is rebellion after rebellion. This is destruction, right? It destroys the cattle. And we know about the importance of the cattle in an in a, in a economy. We know the importance of having animals for food. It's important. And likewise for the, for the, for the crops. Meaning, what would the people eat? Who will have time to go to the farm? Who will feel safe in regard to Barakallah Fikum? Yani, uh, walking his, uh, taking his animals to a pasture. Who will do that? Because these individuals, they will capture it. So he mentioned Hafizahullah. And likewise, in it is the violation of one's honor. The people's honor will be violated. And this is exactly also what is, what is taking place when the likes of rebellions happen. And we see in this barakallah where an individual was taken out from his house in Iraq after that day barakallah fikum took Saddam out. An individual was taken out from his own house in the middle of his wives and children and being humiliated. His honor barakallah fikum is, is being destroyed 
Now think about it, a child seeing his father being talked in a certain way. A child growing up.